Evening. Well, good evening, everybody. It's Derek at Lockies Locksmith Services. Uh, today's video is just about uh, TSA padlocks. Um, so a TSA padlock um, originally came into formation in around 2003. Um, the Transport Service, uh, sorry, Transport Security Administration in America started doing 100% searches of all baggage. Um, so it would mean that if you had a suitcase and they found something suspicious when it was being x-rayed, for example, uh, a set of lock picks, then what they would do is they would open your baggage to check out exactly what it is. And if they damaged the baggage, then so be it. Um, if you had a padlock on there or a lock, then they would damage the lock to get in. Um, a gentleman called John Vermeile, I'm hoping I'm pronounced that correctly, who worked in the baggage and security industry, um, I formed a, a company called Travel Sentry. That's actually their logo. And what he did was he actually got a TS approved, uh, approved locks put into place, which was these. Um, and the TSA locks actually had an override. Um, so they had a, like a master key system in them that the TSA Travel uh, Security Administration had copies of. Unfortunately, in about 2014, there was a picture of one of these keys put in a newspaper which essentially compromised the uh, the system. So, how did it work? So this is actually just it's a combination one, as you can see. It's set to 723, it opens up. Um, and then if you spin the keys round, it'll lock it up. Now, what I want you to watch on these is I'm actually using one of me, uh, it's actually a wafer lock, so I'm using one of me um, wafer picks. Um, and this is a mini wafer pick and I'm going to try and pick this up and what I want you to watch is how this actually works so we're looking for this this will actually come down when it when the key override is put in and goes back up again when it's locked up so if I can find the right one so you can see how that's moving down now and moving up so that's how that works so they would set it they can open it up and then what they do is they, with their master key, obviously I've not got one. And it actually goes back up like that to lock it in place. Um, it's a good system. Um, obviously with one of these with just three, if you know what you're doing, you can actually pull that tight and open it by feeling for the gates. Um, so really they're only a privacy type lock, um, but it enabled the uh, Transport Security Agency to open locks without actually uh, breaking them. Thank you.